people say a ceiling fan can decapitate you. Like if you're jumping on a bed and accidentally jump too high, you could hit a fast spinning fan blade. Is that actually possible? To check, the team first looked into different kinds of ceiling fans and who typically uses them. They narrowed it down to two categories, residential fans and industrial fans. The key differences are blade material and motor power. Residential blades are usually wood or plastic, while industrial blades are metal and the motors spin with more than twice the force. To make the tests realistic, they built a replica human head using pig neck vertebrae and gel and added a fake artery so they could watch how simulated blood would spatter. The head was mounted on a lift platform. With the fan at top speed, Tori drove the platform to push the head into the fan. When they tested the residential fan, it stopped after the impact and the blades didn't cut through the replica's skin. It didn't look like a catastrophic injury. In a horizontal impact test, the neck did not fail. Instead, the fan itself was damaged. So residential fans appear far less deadly than the rumor suggests. Then they tested an industrial fan. Its high-speed metal blades sliced into the skull replica, and the fan kept spinning after the strike. In a horizontal impact trial, the results were chilling. The blades cut through the fake neck and the simulated artery burst immediately. Based on those tests, the idea that a ceiling fan can take someone's head off isn't pure nonsense. With a high-powered industrial fan, it can happen.